Welcome to Diggins Garden Tech. I'm Farmer Tyler. Today we're going to look at some cool pest management gadgets. The first one is a sulfur burner. Sulfur is one of the oldest fungicides used in horticulture. Here we have a bag of elemental sulfur and this has a simple heating element at the bottom. You pour a little bit of sulfur in and it vaporizes the sulfur, spreading little sulfur particles all over the farm. This is really effective against powdery mildew and airborne fungus. What happens is, as the fungus spore lands on the leaf, it starts trying to grow roots, which are called hyphae. And as they start to reach, they hit the sulfur particles, and the particles disrupt their growth, so they can't actually make connection with the plant, disrupting the fungus's germination. These are usually used with a timer. You want to run it for about four to five hours a night. When you're running it in a greenhouse, you want to cut off all of your, your um, evacuation fans and let no air out so you can really fumigate the whole building. Sulfur burners can also be used indoors. I use about two of them to cover the 5,000 square foot greenhouse here at the grow house, um, which might be slight overkill. Another fun gadget is an automated sprayer. Here, this sprayer operates on two AA batteries. <laughs> They're really cheap. You can get them for about $5 and it cuts back a lot on the work if you're having to do a lot of spraying, especially for a farm of this size. And what's even nicer is if you can get it on AA batteries, which are solar charged, so I don't have to be just plowing through AA batteries. I can just swap out ones that are solar charged. So a little solar charged electric sprayer. It's a little fun little gadget. Another sprayer I really like is an atomizer or a fogger. This thing is great because it's really efficient. It makes really tiny droplet sizes. Here, let me show you. It pretty much looks like a fog. And what's nice about that is these tiny little droplets will catch air waves and actually travel and they can catch the under, cover the undersides of your leaves so you can actually get full protection or full coverage of your crop. One of my favorite insecticides to use with one of these sprayers is a pyrethrin. This is a natural pyrethrin that is extracted from chrysanthemum flowers. There's a lot of different types of pyrethrins. Evergreen and pyganic are two sources of natural pyrethrins. Pyrethrins attack the insect's nervous system. It will first excite them, causing them to have spasms, and then it paralyzes them and eventually kills them. It's a pretty intense insecticide, but it's natural and very safe. It only is active in the greenhouse for about 12 hours after you spray, so you can spray it and harvest your crop the same day. Another one of my favorite insecticides is Azatrol or Azimax. They both have the active ingredient Azadiractin, which is derived from the neem plant. Azadiractin acts as a repellent. The insects can actually smell it and are repelled by the taste of it. And it can affect insects molting, which means as they're going from their nymph stage to your adult stage, as a directin will actually keep them from molting, so it keeps them stuck in their juvenile phase, so they can't actually reproduce, which will reduce the insect population over time. Very cool chemicals, especially when used together. They're both natural, both safe, and very effective. These were some of my favorite pest management gadgets. To learn more, please follow the link, and you could sign up for a class with me or another expert in your area. This has been Diggins Garden Tech.